Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from dancetube.tv and today we've got a special one, a super sweet special selection. It's called Gadget Club and this is a high-end subscription box for tech products. The thing I love about it though is that you're actually spending less for the subscription compared to the actual products you're getting in here. So most of the time the products you're getting in here are actually worth more then you're spending on the subscription. So if you love technology, this is like a lifestyle decision. You wanna to subscribe to this box and you wanna get your hands on every single gadget club because at the end of the day, if you love tech and you're buying it, you're actually gonna be saving money on this. So yeah, it's a big thing and I would love to do more of these on the channel. So make sure to tag Gadget Club over on Instagram, Facebook, whatever else, and email them. Let them know that we'd like more of these subscription boxes on the channel. I will also have some links in the description below to check it out and a coupon code to save $20 off your first order. I have no idea what to expect from this. This is Gadget Club. I love the packaging. It's actually like metal stickers that are crazy sharp and you can hurt yourself. So be careful guys. But this is it, this is my first time checking it out. I have no idea, I didn't watch any videos because I really wanted this to be a surprise. I wanted to see for the first time what I got in a Gadget Club box. So let's get into it guys, let's open it up. Ooh. So that's it. Love it, love the packaging, love that glossy metal design that they've gone with on the stickers. So this is it guys, this is the Gadget Club box. This brings back fond memories. I used to do subscription box unboxings pretty much weekly on the channel. I used to check out Loot Crate, Nerd Block, and a few others that I can't even think of right now. Pop in a box maybe? Who knows, check them out on the channel if you haven't checked them out. But this is Gadget Club. This is a brand new Australian tech niched subscription box service. Really cool, really exciting, and I hope that they continue doing this because this is such a cool concept and there's really nothing like this in the tech space. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were gonna have more than one, but, ah, oh, we have the mini game anniversary edition. Super classic game. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Wow, okay, so it's literally, a tiny game console. That's very unique. I was actually expecting more in there. I was expecting a few little items, but you can't complain about a game console. Right, so it actually comes with all the AV cables. You've got, oh, they're old school. What are, I can't even think of, oh, that's the actual uh, controller. Oh, wow, that's super classic. Love that. It was literally a box within a box and that's a lot of boxception for one video. So I don't know how you're gonna go with that. Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling. So there's a lot of box action. It looks like a classic Nintendo system. So I was expecting more, to be honest with you. I thought there were gonna be a few other items in there, um, but this is still really cool. It's like, what, 600 games? Um, where did I see that before? Yeah, 660 games in the one system. It feels, like relatively plasticky. It doesn't feel crazy, like high quality, but I'm assuming that it's basically like the aesthetic, they've designed it to look like an old Nintendo system. And then the actual like hard drive inside that stores or the flash drive that actually stores the games is, is basically all that's inside. Like I'm sure if you opened this up, there wouldn't be crazy amounts going on, but the build quality of the controllers are actually really, really nice. I, I really do like those. Um, the fact that it's AV is, Interesting, like very old school there. And you literally just have uh, a DC in and an AV out. So the DC is for this, which is to plug into the wall. And then the AV is for your TV. So there's no HDMI options there. You wanna hope that your TV's got AV, which I don't think they've like canceled AV, have they? Is that a thing, TikTok? I'm, I'm live streaming on TikTok, guys. Is that a thing? Is AV like still on every TV? I wonder when they'll phase that out. I wonder if it will ever be phased out. It'll have to be at some point, right? It's like the headphone jack on an iPhone or some Samsung devices or sorry, Android devices. Like, will they just phase out AV at some point or will they leave it forever? You get two controllers, relatively long cables, like what, a meter maybe for both? It's probably not enough if you're gonna be sitting on the couch to be honest with you. Like, you probably wanted a little bit more. And this DC, the actual like power cable, DC in, this isn't that long either. Maybe like just over a meter. 
So like you kind of want to be sitting relatively close to the TV to be able to play this system properly. But this is the list here. Like it's quite an extensive list. You have a lot of games here. Tetris 2, we've got Galaga, we've got a lot of the Donkey Kong games. Uh, we've got Pikachu, lots of classic Nintendo games on it. It's got a decent build quality. And like I said, 660 games. Like it's a selection of games, lots of Mario games. Uh, lots of Donkey Kong games, lots of other random games I have no idea about. Aladdin 3 is on there, that's random. Uh, Doughboy, Dig Dug, there's a few on there. And you know, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this system, especially the fact that it comes with two controllers. It's a perfect couch co-op system. It's a really cool nod to the nostalgic past. And overall, I think most people who got this gadget club would be happy with it. You know, it's a Pretty cool item, but I think just a little recommendation, I would like to see just a few more little items. They don't have to be massive, but just even like an SD card reader, for example, or even an SD card or some stickers, or just a few other little items to make it feel like a whole experience instead of just kind of a box within a box. That's just my one recommendation, just because the subscription box experience is meant to be an experience. It's meant to be something you open and you go, oh, where do I go first? What do I look at? There's so many things. But it was a box within a box. And I think it's a great product, don't get me wrong. And Gadget Club is a really cool concept. I think the more people that get involved and the more people who actually subscribe to it, the more capital they have, the more money they'll have to be able to pump out some cooler items and maybe flesh out the box a little bit more and fill it up with some cool things. Um, this month though, yeah, I think this is cool. Like this is something I've wanted. So overall it was worth the money, it was worth the time. It's pretty cool, you know? It's something I would definitely play with some friends on the couch, something I'm keen to check out. Um, but next time, Gadget Club, it would be great to see just a few more little things, just little attention to detail, whether it's, like I said, some stickers, something small, something that would just create this whole experience, even if it's just, you know, a shirt and an item, or it's just some stickers and an item. It's just a little bit more because I guess maybe I'm just used to that with subscription boxes. If you do want to check out Gadget Club, I will have a link in the description below, like I said, and I'll have a coupon code to save $20 off your first order. This is my first time experiencing it, and like I've mentioned, I did want to see a little bit more in it, but I think this is a really cool product. It's worth your money, and it's something a lot of people want. This is like a perfect couch co-op system for you and another friend or your partner or whoever it is that's over playing games with you. This is a cool system and it's a real nod to the nostalgic past. So a lot of people will love this system. I've definitely seen it on the internet. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the game GNU, basically a Nintendo ripoff. Don't know why I said Tindo, Nintendo ripoff. Anyway guys, have a fantastic day, night, evening, wherever you're at. Talk to you in the next one. And peace out, guys.